Hello, we want to make a mission objective. This mission objective has a mission marker that can be seen from everywhere in the level, regardless if objects are obstructing it or um, regardless how far away the player is from it. So as soon as we enter this trigger box, it will be spawned and you can see, you can see it also when it's behind objects and it will stay the same size regardless how far away the player is from it away. Okay, let's begin. Okay, the mission marker system will consist of a blueprint which will be the mission objective that also has the mission marker and a trigger box that will unhide this during gameplay. The features of the mission marker will be that it will be screen size so it will always have the same size regardless how far the player is away from it and also it will render above every other thing that you can see in the level. So let's start with the blueprint. I made a folder, blueprints, create, uh, right click here and create a blueprint class which is an actor class of course. Name it BP for blueprint underbar mission marker, uh, mission objective, sorry, mission objective. The mission marker will be part of this. Add some kind of visual like a cube so that we have something to spawn here and perhaps to overlap or whatever. Compile and uh, add a component which will be a material billboard. So do not use the normal billboard, use the material billboard which will be the mission marker. Okay, so you see that we now can add some sprite elements here. Press the plus sign here and you have several options to turn on here like screen is in screen space. Turn that on and we have to change the base size later on. But first we need a material here. So we will create one like here, material and we will make a new folder, materials and a new folder, master and this one will be M for material, billboard master, billboard master, open it and change its settings to blend mode translucent and shading model unlit so we can see it also at night or when it's dark in the level um, and in order to render it above all it has to be translucent or additive rendered. Um, scroll down a bit until we reach translucency and in translucency open the show advanced rollout here and turn on disable depth test. So this one makes that this material will be rendered above all. So now we have to put in some texture sample. The texture sample will have an RGB value into the emissive color and the alpha value in the opacity. We need some kind of texture here. We have to import this texture first. I made one already. I put in textures icons and import it here. It's a mission marker. This mission marker already has an alpha channel like here. So save it and put this texture here. Okay, so this one is not a, a parameter yet. Yeah, we would change that um, icon texture. So give it a group, save it and to keep the workflow we will make a instance here which is uh, 
mi for material instance marker on the bar objective perhaps you have different markers in your game so this one is the objective marker um, we will change its location to materials there it is and you mark this material instance and place it into mission objective here in the materials slot and save that compile and you already see it's uh, super big so we have to change its base side x and y to a value say 0.1 oh no 0 0.05 no that's the wrong axis something like this yeah that's okay yeah and then you can have this one to be hidden in game by default so go to default scene root or class settings uh, class defaults and say set it to actor hidden in game true now put a trigger in here box trigger like so make it bigger so that we can actually go through it like so I make it so that we can see it when we press play so I click on it and set it to actor hidden in game off so place it correctly and now go to the level blueprint like here and with this, ma uh, with this trigger box selected press right mouse click add event for trigger box 1 like so save it um, also you have to have a reference of the mission objective here select it in the world outliner right click here and create a reference to BP mission objective and then just set it set actor hidden in game to off to false so save it and play it so no mission objective you go in here there's the mission objective and you can see it all the way level and once we go to it you see that the mission objective marker will stay the same size regardless how far away we get from this so yeah that's it thank you bye